Hi, this is Tapcat, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, before we go on our latest mission, I, I don't think it's really going to matter, but I thought I would go ahead and let's pick up just a couple of these pistols. I certainly have more than adequate resources to be able to afford them. And who knows, there could come some circumstance where we don't have a lot of options and, you know, that'll make a difference. So, we'll go ahead and swap out the normal pistol for the plasma. Uh, she already has one. I mean, she's the only one I normally shoot a pistol with anyway. Uh, but, you know, if we ran out of ammo or something like that on the main rifle, it's not likely since we did ammo conservation. But, uh, as you may have noticed, by the way, we do have a uh, Lopez back in the group instead of Lori, and we have Jenkins um, rather than Tucker. Uh, those two are in the hospital, but I will be honest, I probably will not use Lori again until the final mission because uh, I realized that if she gets killed, that, that would be um, really bad. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to bring these guys back. I just realized I kind of wanted them positioned a little bit differently within the group. Uh, there we go. And then Emily. Beautiful. All right. Uh, I only do that because it does affect where you see them, um, like when you first come on the map. And it kind of helps put him out in front, I believe, if he's in that spot. But I think our preparations are complete, so we are out of here. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Yep, soldier casualties as well. The old bar and grill. Where everybody knows your name. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike One has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. So I actually would have preferred to have Lopez and Zhang flipped the way I had them, and these two flipped. So good to remember. Yep. All right. Well, I would have liked to have gotten close enough to have rescued this guy, but I, have a visual on the I ain't dashing. Come forward, come forward. All right, that's a little disappointing. No brainer. Okay. This one is finished. So the problem I have, I can't even see that other idiot. And honestly, I don't think I'm getting there. I do not. Which is really disappointing. Um, I don't really see that I can do much about it. Because. You know. He's going to kill that lady. Well. Uh, the problem is. That even if I use run and gun. I'm going to be. Kind of far away. She's outside. But he'll just go right through that window. You know he will. Well, I can put her on overwatch. We can try to kill it when it comes out the window. I think that's my best bet. We just get as close as we can. Oh, wait a minute. Can you see him? Oh, well, okay. Take the shot. 
well, you know, that was... It was good, uh, don't get me wrong. I don't... I don't want to use run and gun. We could trigger a whole other pod. And this is the only action I have left, so... Okay, you know what's funny? This stupid thing might come in handy. <laughs> well, I'm going to rapid fire the pistol. I I don't often do that. I think I did it once before. We got there. See, this is why I didn't want to do a ton of moving around. Mm, I think they're making a really good attempt, honestly. Okay. Well, this is a little ridiculous. Do some damage here. Come on, Emily. I'm counting on you. Yeah, see, I needed to get her airborne, but I thought I was going to need her against the chrysalid. Uh, this turn feels like it could get really ugly, to be honest. So, I'm thinking... Uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm thinking. This is kind of gruesome. Okay. I'm probably going to need her to take out the chrysalid here. Mmm. Yeah. Um, oh boy, they're in range. That's really bad. I'm probably going to need to move here. Um, just to fix it where the mutons can't see them. But I feel like the chrysalids are kind of my main priority. Uh, oh boy, yeah, this is a problem too. Hmm. I, I kind of want to move Lopez here and then use rapid fire on this guy. Um, the sectopod is the only real concern I have there. I could come here, but it leaves him way more flankable by this Mouton. So... Uh, you know, I could come here, but with the shotgun, that's far enough away. I don't like my chances as much. So, I need to put this Berserker down. And I think this is my best chance. He may not get the kill solo. Oh, you know what would be good, though? If we use our real weapon. Okay, one more like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's a, a huge, huge win for us. Um, okay, so I can kill one drone and one chrysalid. And I think that's just what I'm going to do. This is a little risky uh, leaving her here, but... He's dead. All right, I have double tap. I would kind of rather have that against the uh, sectopod, not going to lie. But we're going to make do. We're going to make do. Wow, you can see three guys. See, I need to move back. Um, let me do this. I'm going to move him here. And he can't see anything. And that's okay. It is. Move him here. Pretty terrible that I can't use either of them to shoot at the chrysalids. I fear... Yeah, this is what I was hoping would happen. Perfect. I'm worried about the civilian death toll this turn. Okay. Okay, so the sectopod did not move forward. Uh, I don't have run and gun, so I have to be really careful where I send him. 
That's extremely dangerous given the sectopod. Um, we have two active mutons over here. I, I'm I'm really in an awkward awkward position. The problem is I don't want 500 zombies running around. Hmm. What? Uh, what? What am I gonna do? Should I move forward with him? I guess so. Uh, I don't like it. Okay. Now I assume that my sniper can't see them, and she cannot. I'm probably gonna go airborne with her this turn. All right. I tell you what. Um, can Lopez... See, that's so dangerous. That is full cover. Would I flank him? I think so. Okay. I think I have a plan. I'd rather attack this guy, though. Okay, I'm going to take this shot, I guess. I really hate this. But we hollow targeted him, and that was the main purpose, okay? Now I'm going to come here behind full cover. Okay, I like this plan a lot less. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it a lot less. Unfortunately, I'm kind of stuck here. Like, I kind of just need to do what I need to do. Okay. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not looking great, but again, I kind of need to just do what I can now. So I'm going to do this. I actually have a decent chance at a kill. Yeah, I just needed the crit. But he had a 70% chance, and that's, you know, not trivial to say the least. Okay, we're, we're going airborne. I wish I'd have done this a little earlier, but, you know, we kind of had some things going on. Okay. And since uh, I'm not going to have meaningful overwatch, I'll just Let's reload. And the floaters are going to do what the floaters are going to do. I, I can't stop that. It looks like one of them's gonna murder us. Oh no, he's coming after uh, me. I mean, honestly, between the two, I'd rather he shoot at us. All right, now it's time for civilian to die. Apparently, yep. So I will. Okay, is this the sectopod? You betcha. Ow. Yeah, that's rough. Because now, obviously, he has to become a, my a number one priority. Okay. Sixty percent. Well. Here's what I'm going to do, and I can only pray I don't trigger yet another pod. Uh, wait, he's on Overwatch? Incoming fire. You know, I kind of forgot that Sectopods could both fire and be on Overwatch on the same turn. That's not a great thing for me, but hey. Okay. So that was a really good start. Um... Eighty-three. Don't care about him. Seventy-five. All right. Not surprisingly, I don't have a great chance to hit the sectopod. That's all she can see, though. So I tell you what, we're gonna go big. I feel like I got a chance here. Nice. Nice. 
Now... I still don't have running gun. What's my best chance? It's this guy. We're just going to rapid fire. See what happens. Good things. Good things happened. Because this is XCOM and the good guys always win and nothing bad ever happens. Not ever. Yeah. It was really good. Unfortunately, he's still alive to murder people. Bastage. Only did one damage, but that was enough. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I don't think we're alone out here. Okay. 80%. Okay. I am going to move forward, see if I can improve that. Whoa, A little scary, moving. but... Yep, yeah, 89. You will murder no more people, drone. Foul creature. I gotta tell you, I'm thinking come here, heal him. Not the worst idea. Because I don't want dead soldiers. This? Oh, it's gonna hurt. All right. Unfortunately, that is kind of his turn done. And I, I guess I just come here. Go. Get out of here. And we go on Overwatch. I'd like to reload, but you know. Yeah, I was hoping he'd come back. Come on, let's get him. I understand. And unfortunately... Oh, God. So, Emily... Not particularly useful because too much of this is happening inside. This could be the end of the mission. I'm not sure. Everything by the numbers. Okay, I mean, we actually self saved 12 out of 18, which is not bad at all. Uh, we had two pretty nasty wounds there, but, you know, nothing that was the end of the world. I think where it would have gotten dicey is if Zhang had been tagged by that sectopod on Overwatch. That could have killed him, potentially. So, uh, let's just say I'm grateful that it missed and I didn't have I to find out. Can live up to the standards set by our troops after a mission like that. Looks like no hospital time, which is nice. Um. Yep. I don't. I don't think there was Remember, any panic actually. We'll be watching. Let me just make sure, but yeah, it's just the same too. So cool. Cool beans. Well, let's see if we can finish the Gollop Chamber. Gollop Chamber online. I just want to show you something really quick because I noticed this a while ago and I think it's funny. Um, I didn't remember what all we would need to build or have any real plan other than, you know, vague recollections. Uh, but I would excavate periodically as I thought we needed more room. I just think it's hilarious that I only have one excavated thing that I didn't use. Like I stopped at almost the perfect number of spots for what I actually needed. <laughs> and there were a couple times I thought, oh, you know, let me just go ahead and open up a couple. But the more I thought about it, I was like, well, I have room for the psionic labs and I thought I remembered the Golub chamber and so forth. But yeah, it's just funny that uh, it ended up just about exactly where it needed to be. Now, I, I can't do this yet just because I need Lori to heal up. So we're gonna wait a few more days. 
And then I'll make the psionic suit. Okay, you know what though? I want Tucker as well. Just because I can. Eight sectoid corpses? No. Actually, that reminds me of something. And uh, it probably won't matter. But uh, we don't have any of these. And that kind of sucks. This is why I don't want to get rid of sectoid corpses. Unfortunately, you need cyber disks uh, shells for the other one, and um, I don't have I don't have two, so we can't have the tracking. But at least you know I've got plenty of aim boosts, and now we have several of the dodge as well. And that's probably all we'll ever have because we don't really meet regular floaters anymore. All right, there we go. We got Tucker. So I'm done. I think. Uh, I think we're basically ready for the last mission. Let me buy the Psy Armor. And then what we do is we equip Lori with that. Sorry, she's not in the hangar. <laughs> she's in a little place we call the barracks. <laughs> Load out. Psy Armor. In the right hands. This suit could be the most dangerous thing we've ever developed. We've done it, Commander. Dr. Valen is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. I recommend we get started immediately. Yep, I agree. So, now, uh, Crimini, where is it? Um, actually, yeah, where is it? Oh, wait, I I remember now it's out here. I was like, I know I saw it on the screen, but, you know, all these other places when you want to go do something, you have to come through the menu system. But not this. We're going to send her to the Gollop Chamber now. This is it. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, there is no turning back. This is what we've been working towards this whole time. We likely will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. Hmm. Uh, okay. Before we do it, let me just make sure, like, there's no Foundry Project. Um... Yeah, we're not doing shivs or any of that stuff. I had wanted this, but it's completely meaningless now. It would have helped us build the um, firestorms quicker. Uh, I don't need facilities. I've looked at the items, and I would only care about something that would help us survive. Plus, I can still build this. I'm not going to fool with ghost armor. I know a lot of people love it. It just is something I've never really quite gotten the hang of. Okay, we're going to do it. With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. At long last, you have succeeded where we have failed. There you go. That will be the final mission of the campaign. 
the temple ship assault. So, um, let me just work on the squad here for a minute. I'm going to bring Zhang along. And then the only thing I want to do would be to um, obviously give her the appropriate gear. So she has the Psy Armor. Give her the Alloy Cannon. Okay. So... I remember. I said I wanted her in this slot. Oh, they won't let me move her. Doggone it. Alright, well then, I'll put Zang here. And then... Um, let me think... Uh, I guess he's where I want him, and then we want Emily. Uh, but so by the way, I, rather than using Yuri, uh, not that there's anything wrong with him, but we got him like what was it at Major? I think it was, and we, you know, Emily is homegrown. She's one of our own, and I always prefer using soldiers that we bring up from the bottom. You know, we went through the struggle of her, you know, being a low-level sniper. <laughs> and they're not great. And got her all the way to the top. So, she's the one I want to bring. And uh, I'm good with that. I suppose in Zhang's case, because when you get him, what is he, a lieutenant? So, I'm kind of going the other way. The problem is I like his build better than I do our homegrown guy. Whereas her build and Yuri's, they're the same. Okay, well, at any rate, I think we are done for today. When we come back, it will be for the final mission. I have never tried uh, assaulting the temple ship with just four soldiers before. If we succeed, we'll get the army of four achievement. And if we don't, well, then it won't be pretty. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.